Welcome to this week's Podcast Connection. I'm Chris Nichols, your 2011 Leadership UAR Dean. Today I'll be reviewing statewide sales data for the month of April. In April, Utah Realtors sold nearly 2,700 homes, a 19% drop from last year. The numbers, however, look lower than they otherwise might because they are compared to a period of higher than normal sales. Last year, buyers had to sign contracts by the end of April to qualify for a home buyer tax credit. Compared to two years ago, however, April sales were up 10%. Realtors should expect at least one more month of exaggerated comparison since many tax credit sales were still being finalized last May. Like Utah, April U.S. sales were also down from last year's elevated pace. The chief economist for the National Association of Realtors said, U.S. sales should be stronger based on affordability, new jobs, and pent-up demand. However, tight credit and low appraisals are holding back the market. He said sales could be 20% higher if lending standards weren't overly restrictive. Like last month, the best news from Utah's April report was the continued decline in inventory. The number of homes on the market was down 14% from last year. Inventory levels remain at mid-2007 levels. It would now take 10 months to sell the entire supply of inventory at the current sales pace. Nationally, the month's supply of inventory is about nine months, but many areas in Utah are beating that. Uinta County's month's supply now stands at about seven months, the lowest in the state. Area sales are also up 61% compared to last year as a pickup in the oil and gas industry brought in workers and buyers. Other areas with month supply lower than the U.S. rate are Washington County, Salt Lake County, and Wayne County. Sales were highest in the very low and very high price ranges. In Utah, single-family sales were up 22.5% for homes under $150,000. Single-family homes priced above $750,000 were up 6%. To see the entire April report, visit utahrealtors.com. This is Chris Nichols, Leadership UAR Dean, signing off for Podcast Connection.